I recently changed my day job and was not sure if I would be able to take Black Friday off to make it a long weekend. Fortunately, I did. So we planned a quick and short weekend glamping trip in Big Bend National Park. We stayed in this super cool inflated bubbles with transparent tops for some incredible night sky views. And we crossed the border to Mexico and visited a border village for a half day trip. Join us on our short weekend journey in the Chihuahua Desert. Big Bend National Park is a seven and a half hour drive from our home in the greater Austin metropolitan area in Central Texas. We are driving there on Black Friday of 2022. Hope to be there by early evening. Tomorrow we will cross the border into Mexico. This is not a typical foreign trip, so I'm quite excited about it. But I'm most excited about the night. Big Bend is known for its night skies, especially on a clear night. And tomorrow is expected to be really clear, so keeping my fingers crossed. We will drive back Sunday morning after breakfast, so we can get back home before dark. Since this is technically camping, we are carrying our food and drinks with us. The glamping facility we booked provides grills, a fridge and a coffee maker, but we are also carrying a portable propane burner to cook some simple things like uh, eggs and rice. More on the facility and what it comes with later on in this video. This is our second trip to Big Bend. Our last trip there was in September 2019 and it was pretty hot in September. We did not camp within the national park but stayed in a hotel in a border town called Alpine. In that trip, we did some trekking on one of the trails, canoed in Rio Grande River and visited the McDonald Observatory for a night sky weaving program. It was super cool. This time I am prepared to try and capture night trails. I have all the gear, just need the conditions to be ideal. Let's see. This year it has been exceptionally cold last few weeks in Central Texas. And today is one of the coldest nights expected. We were prepared for the cold but we did not expect this. Snow and more importantly a snowstorm. We have lived in Chicago for over a decade, so I'm no stranger to snowstorms. But after not having to deal with it for so many years, it is a bit nerve-wracking especially when we are driving in the desert and not prepared for it. I just need to be cautious and careful and hope for the best, I guess. finally passed the storm after about an hour in it. Was not expecting it to be so bad so I'm so glad it's over. But it's cold now outside. Anyways it's not exactly what we were expecting so that kind of adds to the excitement of the trip. After all come on how many times can we expect to experience this in Big Bend? Today is Saturday November 26th day after Black Friday. It's around 10 in the morning and we are heading out to visit Bukuyas. But before that, let's do a tour of our camp. This is Bubble Terlingua in Terlingua, Texas. This is uh, just uh, probably 5 miles north of the entrance of the Big Bend uh, National Park here. So we arrived here last evening and I couldn't do any video because it was cold and we're late, it was dark, so I thought I'll do a quick tour of the bubbles um, this morning. Uh, there are three different sites I think this company has, it's called Basecamp, um, 
this particular side only has bubbles um, and then the other sides also I think have got some tents and uh, cabins uh, but uh, we didn't try them out yet so here we have three at the beginning this one is number three which is ours and uh, let's first check out what's next door which is the common area um, there is a public EV charger over as well so I think that was a that's a nice touch this is the common area nice swimming pool and yesterday was super cold but right now the temperature is gorgeous so maybe we'll take a dip later on in the day we'll see a lot of seating space and a beautiful view on that side it's gorgeous loving it this is so good all right let's go check out our bubble So each bubble has its own kind of private space courtyard which we are getting in now after opening this main entrance door. And this is how it looks. So this is where the bubbles are. The bubbles are inflated so the doors always need to be closed as soon as you open the door uh, there are two doors you at least have to have one closed before you open or close the other one otherwise the air keeps coming out and it deflates if you close it back it'll inflate in a few minutes so not too bad but that's how it's set up and this is the open space there is a outdoor shower here if you're using um, or if you come from the pool this is where you can take a shower it's a nice little touch they've got um, body wash and shampoo and stuff over there as well there's a small seating area for four and with a fire pit that we tried to put some fire on yesterday but it was slow and it was getting cold so we ditched uh, we'll give it a shot again this evening if it and see there's a grill it has all this grill equipment with it so uh, we used to grill some chicken and shrimp last night and then some uh, sitting area for eating I guess outside and these are the bubbles look from outside um, so there are three bubbles in this one that we got there is a living space uh, a bedroom and there is a bathroom uh, this this one can house like four adults uh, and I'll show how and the next thing is the bedroom bubble uh, it usually is covered at the top it's transparent and you have to uncover it so which we did it's pretty easy it's hooked on all the sides and then you, you just pull it down and they'll come back and cover it uh, once every day I think during the day it gets pretty hot so they cover it and in the evening you can open it up to enjoy the skies in the night it's beautiful okay let's head in and see how everything looks inside so this is the area that I was talking about there's a door inside and this door this middle section um, to put your shoes and anything that you want to probably keep over here there are some towels they provide here for the pool if you want to use and then we get in Oops. and you can see the bubble just started to deflate <laughs> because the other door was open behind me so this is hi hi this is the living space it's got a couch and this can be folded into a bed for two i guess I opened for two people 
a small coffee table, a couple of sitting areas, and uh, this is um, a table with a water filter, a coffee machine Keurig with some parts that come. They also have some creamer and a small um, fridge. There is Wi-Fi inside each of the bubbles and you have your own Wi-Fi signal for each bubble. Um, two space heaters for the two spaces. This is the bathroom, small little sink, toilet. Then on this side, there's a shower. It runs hot and cold both, so very nice. And this is my favorite room in this whole space. Actually, the other one is pretty nice as well, but at night, this is awesome. Let me get on this side so that we get out of the glare of the sun. So this is the bedroom, again, for two. Uh, pretty standard. They have a heater over here, some night lights. They provide some books to read. There are extra blankets on this side. And over here you can see the entire top is transparent so at night if the sky is clear um, you can see a lot of stars and yesterday uh, the moon set early so it was darker and that really really popped the night sky when we went to bed last evening so it's super gorgeous Boquillas is a border crossing between the US and Mexico, right in the middle of the Big Bend National Park. It's a 40 minute drive from our glam site in Telingua, so let's enjoy some scenic drives across the desert. Arrived at the border, this is not a typical large and busy US Mexico border, so it's relatively quick with immigration checks. And it doesn't even feel like I'm crossing to another country. Don't forget to bring your passports if you're an US national. For foreign nationals, I guess a visa will also be required, but check out what's needed with the US immigration so that you don't get stranded on the other side. And yes, make sure to be back before the border checkpoint closes. Otherwise, you might just have to spend the night in Mexico. After the checkpoint, there is a short walk to the river where we take a boat ride to cross into Mexico. It's uh, five US dollars per head round trip for the ferry.
Once we reach the other side, there is option to either walk or take a mule ride to get to the village. It's just a half a mile and the weather is excellent, so we will walk. The road is unpaved and full of mule dung, so one needs to be paying attention where they're stepping. It's less than a mile from the US border, but it feels like a completely different world. Once we reach the village, we first go to the Mexican immigration office. We paid $3 per head entrance fee for entering a Mexican protected area, which is where Boquillas is located in. Within the village, we mainly walked around, checked out the local handicrafts the villagers are selling, and uh, bought a couple of items as well. I'm sure we overpaid, but I think we spend more on non-essentials back at home, so I don't really mind helping the locals. Be careful what you bring back into the US though. The immigration officers will inform you on what you can and cannot bring back from Mexico. After walking around for some time, we settled down at a local Mexican restaurant for lunch. The food here is simple but flavorful. Combined with the view overlooking Rio Grande River, it's a fantastic meal and experience. We headed back to US after lunch. We had plenty of time for immigration, but the immigration checks are done remotely over a video and sometimes connectivity issues can cause delays. We and a few others had to wait quite a bit to complete the process. So that is a learning lesson for anybody planning a trip here. Have time on your hand. After getting back to our camp, we spent the rest of the afternoon and evening grilling food, enjoying some drinks, and gazing the stars. So there you have it. It was a short but very unique trip we did this time. Stay through the end of the video to see a night time lapse of the sky I was able to capture. I think it came out really nice. So until next time, take care and signing out.